Hi, my name is Janine Hamilton Kells and I'm at the Gisborne Volunteer Centre and we've been part of organising the Two Minutes of Good Stuff Film Festival. Every day we hear about the amazing work that's happening in our community, some really cool stories and the work that people are doing and we wanted to capture that some way. We thought that film might be a really good way of doing that and we had this idea of making some two minute films just shining a light on the amazing work that's happening in the Gisborne community. I think people just really saw this as an opportunity where they could use their skills and give back to the community. So we probably underestimated just the work involved in filmmaking, but we have just been really humbled by the willingness of filmmakers to be involved and also to bring other young people on board and share their gifts and resources with them, with some mentoring and that kind of thing. I'm Hilary Pickering and I'm one of the volunteers at St John Op Shop. Oh, it's really important to give back to the community but you also get so much out of it yourself. It's not, it's not just give, 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 you get the um, people I work with are fantastic. The customers are brilliant and it's, it's really social and it's really um, rewarding, yeah. Hi, my name is Kellen. I am not a filmmaker usually, but I decided to enter the competition um, because it was something that I could do and hopefully I can make something that will help uh, a nonprofit. I think it's a great idea because um, a lot of these nonprofits are doing really important work, but people don't necessarily know about it. So it's just a really beautiful way to shine a light on the work that all these amazing nonprofits are doing. So today um, I'm filming for the Gisborne Tairafati Environment Center. Uh, we're highlighting their ecology projects at the moment. So we are in the Waikiriri Domain Reserve and we're emptying traps. It's not necessarily the most glamorous job in the world, but it's important to protect our native forests.